What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be demonstrating my new script which I have been working on for the past few months so let's just get straight into it. As you can see this new script has the interface. It's a dockable script which means you can basically put it wherever you want but I prefer to keep it over there. As for the first button edge which stands for adjustment layer it will create a trimmed adjustment layer over the layer which you select and if you happen to select multiple layers it will either create one long adjustment layer which spans from the first to the last layer or you can change the settings so that it creates multiple small adjustment layers that are trimmed to the length of each of the selected layers as for the second button null this one will create a trimmed null over the layer which you select parent the layer to the null enable motion blur um, add motion tile with whichever settings you want and it will put the position, rotation and scale keyframes for you and if you select a camera or a 3D layer it will create a 3D null instead of a 2D one and it will like put the keyframes for the 3D null properties which you can customize for example if you don't want it to put the anchor point keyframes you can remove that and now for example if I select these 6 layers and press on the null button twice now I have 12 new nulls, each layer is parented to the one on top of it with keyframes, motion blur, motion tile, everything. And for the solid button, this one will create a trimmed solid over whichever layer you select and if you select multiple layers, it's gonna create multiple trimmed solids. The version which includes my trickster script will be given to those who have both my trickster pack and this new script but I'll talk more about that in a second. So for these 1, 2, 3, 4 buttons, these ones will create um, one frame long adjustment layers, also known as one framers, depending on which one you select from here. So if you select R, which stands for right, and press for example 1, 2, 3, 4, it creates one framers. L, left, it's the same thing. And N, which is now, will create a one framer um, whatever you are basically okay now getting back to the two extra script for the people who don't know what that is just go watch my other video i explain it there um, i have added a few improvements since for example now it can handle frame rate conversion better so if you edit at like 60 fps or 30 fps it will work perfectly just like if you edit at 24 and i added the option to automatically easy ease the final keyframes also, if you use the script and try to timer map using the graph editor, this time it's not going to be as stretched out as it was before. And finally, you can decide the final length of the clip using the first and last keyframes which you put. For example, if you want it to be from here to, for example, here. Now, if you use the script, it's going to be from there to there. So instead of using the script and um, stretching it, now you can just put this one here and this one over here and that will do the job for those of you who already bought my trickster pack and you want this version of the script which includes my trickster script just get it by itself like the new script then send me a message on instagram or discord where you mentioned the email that you used for both transactions and i'll send you a link where you can download it